is Ghana building its own nuclear arsenal? Well, kind of, but not really. Just come with me. Let's find out. For those of you who don't know, Ghana is a small West African country that was colonized by the Great Britain and gained its independence in 6 March 1957. Ghana is one of the most peaceful countries in Africa. It hadn't seen any major conflict or war since 1957 after its independence. Due to recent conflict and war changing events around the world, Ghana sees it a necessity for them to have their own nuclear deterrent just like the United States of America and China to deter any nation that has intentions of invading their country or posing as a threat to the country's peace and security. It was recently spotted by American spy satellites that Ghana has been secretly building its own nuclear arsenal by a private military contractor known as Kantaka Industries. This came as a major surprise to the United States because this whole project has been going on for over a decade now without anyone noticing it. This is the first time that any African country had tried anything so controversial such as this. Although the Ghanaian government hadn't made any public statement about any nuclear bomb development, but it is believed that the country Ghana is secretly building its own nuclear arsenal, just like North Korea, Iraq, and other powerful nations like the United States and China, and also Russia. Why a nuclear arsenal? Well, according to the founder and CEO of Kantanka Industries, a nuclear arsenal is a vital necessity for the country's protection. This is because a nuclear arsenal will serve as a deterrent to other nations that have intentions of invading or threatening the national security of the Ghanaian people. So what you see on the screen right now is one of the workers at the Kantanka Industries demonstrating how the affairs prototype of the nuclear missile functions. So what you see there is just the solid state engine which weighs about 5 kilograms. No liquid propelled engine, just the solid state. So they are going to test it out and see how well it functions then they will improve from there then build another prototype then that's how it does you you build first when you make mistake you learn from your mistakes they improve upon it so you can see the missile is not actually all that bad i mean it goes up straight so it went to a height of about 2500 feet which is not all that bad i mean it's their first prototype so hey you gotta give it to them <laughs> although it's it's a little bit silly but hey you gotta start from somewhere before you can get to where you actually want to be. So, uh, I won't criticize them all that much. So, right now, what you're seeing is their second prototype. And this time around, they put the solid state engine into an enclosed body. So, they built two of the prototypes. First one is the bigger one, and the other one, too, is the smaller one. The smaller one weighs 9 kilograms and has a lifting capacity of 150 kilograms. And the bigger one, too, has a weight of 13 kilograms and a lifting capacity of 145 kilograms. So, right now, what they are doing is that they are setting up the rocket launcher beam and also setting up the electrical wiring. The wiring will serve as a source of ignition for the solid state engine. So the first rocket that they are setting up is the smaller rocket which weighs 9 kilograms and has a lifting capacity of 150 kilograms. So right now they are done setting up everything and they have started the ignition sequence. 3, 2, 1, go! So this smaller rocket flew to a height of about 1,500 feet and went to a range of about 1 kilometer from the launching site. So right now what they are doing is that they are setting up the second prototype, I mean the bigger one, the one that weighs 15 kilograms and has a lifting capacity of 145 kilograms. So here yeah, they are doing the electrical wiring just like the one they did in the first one. I mean the electrical wiring is the source of ignition to the solid state engine. So this bigger rocket has a diameter of 6 inches and a maximum length of 6 feet. The engine weighs 13 kilograms and has a lifting capacity of 145 kilograms. You can see the name of the company Kantanka. They manufacture military 
weapons and equipment, usually prototypes, they haven't started building things on a mass scale. So you can see the rockets flying up there in the sky with a velocity of approximately 11,000 meters per second, which, I mean, is the escape velocity. So this bigger rocket went to a height of approximately 1,500 feet and went to a range of 1.5 kilometers from the launching site. Now one thing that I have to emphasize on is that these rockets do not have any warheads on them. They are just prototypes. They don't have any sort of ammunition that will set off an explosion or go up. They just have the solid engine that just lifts it up. Now these rockets are made from PVC pipes and plastic then metals then a mix of materials so but they are mostly made out from pvc plastics that's why they integrate when they hit the ground and spread across the whole field Don't know, 